is not always easy. Like it's that switch, you know, now you're in show mode. It's hard, there's a lot of things going through my mind. It really is a tough life and a tough job. Because you never know what is going to happen. Well, I am scared. Everything was kind of, you know, a little chaotic in the beginning, but it's time to run the show. My name is James Dunlap, and I'm the assistant head of lighting on Kuza. It's not that I was afraid of him. I felt a lot of respect right away. And I still respect him a lot. Yeah, I just love this guy so much. He's a great dude. Hello, my name is Daniel. Uh, I am the head usher at Kusa. He's basically running the show outside of the show. Uh, Daniel, he's, he's a character. He has such, so much energy. Hey, I'm Mitch and I play the trickster. Mitch is a trickster. I mean, <laughs> there's, there's no, no doubt about it. He likes to play jokes and he's just, he's an all around funny guy. So when we arrive on site, we have to sign in and this basically lets our stage management and coach know that we're on site and ready for the show. Say how tired we are during today. So there's a, number one is no fatigue and number seven is the worst possible fatigue. I put six. <laughs> it's always nice to check and see your performance, to fix any small details uh, and improve your act or your, your discipline. Let's see if my legs are straight. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, okay. So, I arrive on site usually three hours prior to show call. Go, Bianca. It's my colleague Bianca. Looks like we have a sitting issue for tonight. No worries, I'm on it. Yeah, I can see already that I'm gonna be short staff, two people. And it's time to go and greet the first batch of staff. So, let's go. So far as per the daily, we are expecting only one wheelchair. If you smile nicely to them, they're gonna comply with us, okay? Let's do our best. Thank you so much. My main goal here on Kuza is to actually upkeep the look of the show. I am here for the dog head. I hear it's not working. This is now the new priority. In my department, we have many roles. And one of the jobs is, and I love it, is fixing the dog heads because it's one of my favorite things in the show. I take it personally when it breaks. If one of them breaks, uh, we don't have another spare. Every day is different here. It's just such a joy to be, to be everywhere because if I did only one thing, I would probably go crazy. Channel three, big top work lights going out. Whee! Yes! <laughs> so today I'm feeling a little more stressed than usual. We had this rehearsal with Joey for the new training of the Trickster. It's important to have a rotation because if the trickster looks a little tired, it can bring the energy of the show down. Wow, so good. So it's gonna take me a little extra time today and I'm really feeling it and I already feel stressed before the show. So yeah, good luck to me. <laughs> Jacob, comme tu peux voir, t'es tout seul à la porte 8 pour l'instant. T'inquiète pas. S'il vous plaît, vos portes, commencez à vous préparer. Comme d'habitude, je voulais savoir quand est-ce qu'on peut ouvrir. You just need to be aware of how much time you need for prep and the less what you want is more stress. No that much, huh? I need a tool to fix that chair. This job takes a lot of energy. Coffee is good. Uh, not too far from showtime, so I'm feeling a little nervous. It takes me around two hours to do my makeup. I like to be really fine, really in detailed with it, but it does get quite time consuming. Out of all the acrobatics and dancing I do, these eye contacts are probably the most painful about this role. <laughs> so I can feel I have something in my eye. Ah, the contacts ripped. <laughs> Shit! You really gotta manage your time here. And they trust you to be self-sufficient because if you had to micromanage everybody here to tell them where to be all the time, it would be just insane. And Bernard, I am receiving signal, but the kite is not turning on. 
so you definitely have to keep a, a, a level head when, when issues arise. Right now our kite's not working, which could be because of my own fault, because I had to do some recircuiting up on top of the Bataclan. So I'm gonna have to go up there and check that out. At the same time, we also have an issue with the front of house. So right now we've got everybody kind of juggling around and we're down one lighting technician because he is covering sound because we have a sound operator that is sick. But I am confident for now. One, now you should have the kite. Hey look, the kite's pulsing. All right, so that's one problem fixed. Getting ready? So we're gonna get to this front of house truss. We're just gonna remove okay. these ones here just so that we can get to it and then we'll we'll put them back obviously. Perfect. Like every... I have to get this genie lift off before they open up the house to the guests. When you're working together with with a team at this level, um, there's there's pretty much nothing that we can't do. Now the makeup really starts. I'm trying to make it on time for my entrance and to warm up properly. And we have to rush the makeup. When it's like this, it's not enjoyable. I'm stressed. You're running late? Yeah. Straight after this, I go into my warm up, which I like to start 30 minutes to the top of the show, getting in my head a little. Oh, okay. So let's do this. Amigos, ouvre les portes, s'il vous plaît, et bon spectacle! We need to make sure that our customers are satisfied, that they're having a good time, that we meet their expectations. Bon spectacle. Hello, how are you? Good. Je voulais juste m'assurer que ça, que tout va bien pour vous. They have six and seven, but here it's eight. Got it, I'm gonna talk to them. Thank you very much. Ah, there's a spider. <laughs> we don't want that. And this is 10 minutes animation, 20 minutes to the top of the show. As I have my makeup on and I start my warm up, I'm really getting into the zone of my character. About 15 minutes beforehand, I'm really getting into that zone. The entrance of my show is very stressful and it asks a lot of my body. The stress can be quite difficult and today I'm really feeling it, but I just have to be really mental strong and just stay true to myself. We're getting busier and busier and busier. And then those last 10 minutes, those are like the 10 minutes with more adrenaline, with more, uh, like everything happens, like good and bad, you know? Dans le fond, je vous attendais avec beaucoup d'impatience. <laughs> oh. Alex. So about five minutes to the top of the show, I realized I didn't have the golds on my fingers, which was very stressful. So I ran to the wardrobe and I was saying to Alex and Laura, please paint my fingers. Like, I need this now. Here we go. Now I'm ready. Do you know this, Keela, just in case, Felix? Oh shit, we're starting from there. Why are my schedules all messed up? We really gotta go, go, go. When I hear the crowd and when I start hearing the murmurs and the, it just gets louder and louder and you know it's gonna be a good show. After all my preparation, I'm finally under the stage. Hearing the audience does give me the little like goosebumps at times. But as soon as I hit the stage, I'm ready to go and I'm in the character, I'm in the zone and there's no nerves whatsoever at all. And now it's showtime. And then we do it again. 